What is going on, fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here, and today I have one of the coolest missions in Red Dead Redemption 2. Not because the mission itself is cool, but because this mission actually unlocks an Easter egg. And the only way you can unlock the Easter egg is if you do this mission and the mission before it. Now, this mission is a bright bouncing boy, too. And if you come here by yourself with, without it thunderstorming and without it being in between uh, 10 p.m. and 5 a.m., you actually won't see this mission here. Now, you do need to be pretty far into the game around chapter four for this to unlock. And you have to speak to Marco Draco, I think his name is. And this is a bright bouncing boy, too. Is anybody here? Disturbing me, buddy. I almost saw the biggest problem and you mess it up! Did? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Uh, well, well it, it is uh, the geometry of life, the, the grand theory of uh, power. <laughs> it's the grand theory of theories, man. <laughs> there is just one more big problem. <laughs> I solved it, but can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things, and I will show you what I mean. Here, take this. Oh, well, uh, I'm not much of a scientist. Well, you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but you make a, a fine buffoon. So this is where it begins. The filament flashes when it points at the location for conductors. Now, so this detector detects things in the air that you have to find, and when it blinks its hardest, that means you're pointing in the right direction. Now, you're going to need this later on in the game for the big reveal of what I'm going to be showing you guys. Now, like I mentioned earlier, this mission is not possible until you do the first part of this, and this place a conductor here. Now, a bright bouncing boy, number one, you can find this guy at the lake in St. Denis between the times of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m., but if you get there any time before that or after he isn't there you also need to be past chapter four and the mission you need to be passed is the joys of civilization so as you guys can see we're in the second conductor area we're gonna go ahead and place this bad boy down once we do that i do believe we have one more to do oh well, you guys can clearly tell where it is. All right, that's number two. And one more to go. Now, like I mentioned before, you have to come to this part between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. And there has to be a thunderstorm. Oh, I'm assuming it goes here. So it has to be either thunderstorming. Oh, no, it has to be thunderstorming. And it has to be between the times of 10 p.m. and 5 a.m for this guy to even appear. And you can tell into the thunderstorm because it's actually really loud. And also, uh, well, there's a lot of rain. So it's it's a lot, dudes. And I feel like this thunderstorm only happens when you're doing this mission because this is a lot. Like, I've only ever seen this happen once. It's like a hurricane's coming or something. It's crazy. So in the first mission, when you help this guy, you help him with a battleship or RC boat that he's creating. You guys will know the mission. You'll see him and be familiar with who he is. He's a mad scientist. And of course, as you guys can tell, he's into some pretty weird stuff. So let's go back inside this house and see what he's... Oh, did he just died. Hope not. What just happened? Wonderful! <laughs> I wish I ever went to school so I had a clue what was going on. What now? Well, now I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth. Like... This. Rip. Am I missing something? Ah, oh, uh, the switches. The bloody switches. Okay. Uh, climb up there and adjust them for me. Go quick, please. 
All right, now we're gonna climb up this bad boy. Now, I've come here when I was free roaming before, and I was like, man, this looks really cool. I don't know what this is. And then I realized, okay, this is for the mad scientist. But I, I had came here, like, in chapter two, and I had no idea what was going on here. It was like, couldn't loot anything, couldn't go inside anything, but you could climb this tower. Here I am again. Oh, God. What? Just tell me what goddamn one of these things to pull. You bet all right. All right, so it's left, right, and then they all turn on. Pretty easy. Maybe I shouldn't be up here when this is going on. How did Mor how did Arthur Morgan not just die? Are you ready? Sure. Second time lucky, eh? Second time? <laughs> More like 7,000th. This is my life's work. You guys know what he's doing? It's incredible. That's right. What? A freaking robot, dudes! Well, <laughs> I am so <laughs> oh, You just saw creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. <laughs> I am the luckiest man alive. <laughs> I, those morons, they doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes, yes. Goodbye. <laughs> oh. So that is the mission completion. But before you click away from this video, we are not done. As you guys saw, he created his son, a robot. Now, lucky enough for us, this robot can now be found in free roam. That's right. Now, the next step is pretty interesting because you have to leave this area. As you guys know, he's a mad scientist and you can tell it's still thunderstorming. But what we have to do is go ahead and set up a camp. But unfortunately, in this area, you cannot set up a camp. So what you need to go ahead and do is leave this area and go over to the loft. Now, the reason why you get to go to the loft is because this area will not let you set up a camp no matter where you are. It just keeps telling you there's too much activity nearby. So go to the nearest area you can sleep in, which is the loft. Now, once you arrive at the loft, simply go inside the house. If you guys have never been here before, make sure you loot it upstairs and down. There's quite a few things you can grab while you're here. The bed is pretty comfortable and you'll enjoy your stay. But the one thing you need to know is that you need to sleep for over 48 hours in game time. So continuously just sleep for the longest period of time you possibly can. In this instance, it's up to night for 19 hours and I have to re rinse and repeat that process until I pass the 48 hour mark. So after 48 hours of in game time, it is now bright and sunny for me without any hey. rain. And it is now time to head back to the lab to go speak with Marco. We've now returned to the lab and right away, you guys can see through the doors and the inside of the bottom of the mini map, there is an item for me now. Now, of course, I didn't mention at the beginning of the video because I wanted you guys to watch the whole thing to see how to get it. Because if you didn't watch this far, you would have never known this happened. Where and it's incredibly bad. So as you guys can tell, the robot actually ended up killing its master it's very sad but what's great about it is we actually get a electric lantern that we can pick up of course you can't really help him but what you can do is pick up the electric lantern if you've watched this far and you're like man okay let me go do it myself don't click away just yet because you can't actually do it without you understanding how to do it and that's what this guide's for because it's pretty extensive so we've had a lot of steps step one you need to go ahead and make sure you complete the quest available of bouncing boy one 
available after chapter four. Once completed, about 48 hours after completing it, you can go ahead and look out for number two, bouncing bright bouncing boy number two. But to activate this, it has to be 10 p.m. in game, between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m., and it has to be thunderstorming outside, and you have to have the icon on your map to come up to uh, Dover Hill. Once you arrive at Dover Hill, then you'll accept the mission, do all the things that the professor wants you to do. Once you're done doing all those things, you will then go back to the cabin to sleep for 48 hours. And now we are here reclaiming the electric lamp to go ahead and get it from the professor. And now we're on to the last part to find the creature. Now this robot is out there in free roam and we're going to go find him. And I don't know what's going to happen. Are we going to have to kill him? I don't know. Let's get to it. If you guys have enjoyed this video so far, drop the video like and subscribe if you guys enjoy these types of videos because I love this stuff. This is like so much fun for me. I'm doing it like with you guys. It's really cool. When you guys come out here, make sure you guys put on your winter clothes as well. It's a little far. I mean, like a little is an understatement to be honest because it's like, it's, it's almost too far for you guys to actually go look at it in game yourself. So the next step, you've gone ahead and traverse through the world you've gone ahead and followed my instructions as you need to go ahead and go towards a direction of Coulter. now i assume that he's over here somewhere and how you can go ahead and find him for yourself is use your lantern as you can see when i turn the lantern in the direction where the robot may be the bulb gets brighter and brighter and brighter and it gets lighter as i turn away from him so we are to assume he's on top of this mountain right here but the problem is we have to get up there. So we're going to get on our horse. We're going to keep the lantern out and we're going to look for this bad boy. As long as the lantern is orange, you're heading in the right. Hmm. The robot must have put that tree there. It wasn't there when I was. Yeah, my game lag. Big issues. So the issue with this area is that it is a mountain and you have to find the way up the mountain without falling off the mountain. Right now we're making pretty good progress, but this isn't the right way, 100%, because there's no way he can scale this. Yeah, no way. <laughs> we have to find a way on top of this mountain. All right, now it looks like we have found the way up. It's just above the north of Coulter. We have to go ahead and go up this way. I tried going up the rocky parts. As you guys can tell, the map is like, it's pretty much like, don't go this way. But pretty much just follow the map where it looks like you can actually go up and that's how you do it. I was just trying to like, you know, just go up the rocks and that was the right way. Clearly it wasn't the right way. And even this seems like it's so steep I might fall. My horse is making it up here like a champ though. So after a whole day cycle, we have some tracks. I don't think, oh, you can. You can track them. You can track the stranger's tracks. now. As you guys know, these stranger tracks belong to our long lost psycho friend. And he should be right up here. So I don't know what we're getting ourselves into here, but I'm gonna have a gun ready just in case. And as you can see, there he is. The robot is here and he's alive. The robot is here and he's alive. And uh, here he is, dude, the robot. Oh, this is so sad. He just said, Papa. Dudes, that's crazy. That's crazy, dudes. So I think he's slowly but surely dying. As you guys can see, when I put the lantern on him, it's glowing orange. And when I face it the other way, no longer glowing orange. This lantern is used to detect him. You guys can follow his tracks all the way from the house if you or the, uh, I guess, a science lab or the lab if you wanted to. I don't know what we should do here. Um, we could kill him. We don't have to, though. We could, though, if we wanted to. I feel like it's really sad to kill him. I feel like the robot didn't know better. And I don't know. Let me know in the comment section, what would you guys do in this situation? Do we kill the robot or let him live? I think for the time being, I'm going to let him live. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and shoot him. Now, hear me out. I'm going to shoot him. But when I shoot him, I'm not going to go ahead and keep that save. I want to keep him alive because this is a really cool Easter egg. It's like Bender, but in Red Dead Redemption 2. So let's go ahead and throw some dynamite on him. See what happens just for a test. But before we do that, I want to go ahead and save and make a new save. Uh, just so we can go ahead and make sure. And I've said go ahead so many times already. Just so we can reload the save if we need to. All right. So don't mind me, sir. I'm just going to plant this right here. I'm going to plant one right here on your back. All right. And maybe one right here on the other side. Okay.
That's it? Oh, it died. It's dead. As you guys know, it's never really alive. Huh. Yeah, dudes. It's dead. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna load back, and instead of blowing it up, we're gonna shoot it this time and see what happens. Yeah, it's actually one interesting thing is that you couldn't, I couldn't loot the robot either, so even like the metal, I couldn't sell it if I wanted to. That would've been really cool if this whole thing was just a really easy way to make like a few thousand bucks if you sold like the metal of the robot. And I think it's also very, very cool that you can actually track its tracks to see where it went. Very interesting, like very, very cool game design. But like before we approach, it turns on. I just feel like it's so alive. It's so weird. What if I shoot its light? Wow. The light turns off and everything. That's cool. Oh, I also used an explosive bullet on him. Probably why he died instantly. I think about it. <laughs> I used a lot of explosive bullets on him. Whoops. So that is the robot Easter egg. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this guide and tutorial showcasing from the beginning all the way to uh, actually finding him. I want to do more videos like this. As long as you guys want to watch them, drop a like, show that support in the comment section. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you guys.